Thank you for always listening. Today, we are going to share about the investigation that can be done to rule out infertility. As I alone saw what infertility is, we have seen the causes of infertility in males, females, and in both. So at this time, allow me to share briefly the investigations that can be done to rule out infertility. So these are our objectives that will help us to understand the investigations, especially one we want to discover the cause of infertility. Others will help us rectify or correct the abnormality. Others will help us to give assurance with explanation to the couple. So when do we have to investigate? We are saying as per definition of infertility, the infertile couple should be investigated after one year of regular and unprotected sex with adequate frequency. So the couple has to first spend a one year for us to think of carrying out investigation. And the interval, however, we said it is shortened to six months, especially after the age of 35 in women and the age of 40 in men. So a, a lady aged 35 years and above, we shall not wait for one year. Here we shall just wait for only six months and investigation will start. So we are looking at now the clinical approach to investigate the male. What do we do? Here we look at the general history. As you are going to see, we shall look at the age, the duration of marriage, and the history of previous marriage, if any, so that we can be able to get the exact cause of this infertility. So when we talk about the general medical history, here we shall ask about the sexual transmitted diseases. We talk about mumps, ochiditis, after puberty. So that kind of medical history, diabetes, recurrent chest infection, will help us to know because like mumps we saw, it causes ochiditis, and this person hence ends up with infertility. So that's why we shall do the medical history. Then next, we shall also look at the surgical history. For example, herniorophy. As we earlier on saw that herniorophy, during this procedure, sometimes the vessel difference can be cut or even sutured so that they are blocked and now there is no pathway for the sperm. We also talk about operations. Any operation test, any operation done in the area where the tests are can eventually bring a problem. That's why you're concerned with also surgical history. Then we still talk about the occupational history. For example, exposure to excessive heat or radiation. Because excessive heat denature the sperm. So we make sure that if someone has such a history, then we can attribute the cause in that case. We look at the sexual history. As we said, the frequency of intercourse. Sometimes people complain they are infertile, but the, the frequency of intercourse is quite low. And we need to make, find areas now of reassurance. Still with sexual history, look at the full penetration of the penis inside the vagina or orgasm at the right time. Some people ejaculate just before even the whole sexual act and they will fail now to have the child because they ejaculate earlier. We still look at the social habits. For example, those who have heavy smoking and drinking these are very important because they have a bigger impact on the blood supply. And remember, erection, especially in males, has to go hand in hand with enough blood supply. So on examination, what are we going to do? Because all the above have been the history. We shall do a general state of health. The general state of health will be seen and here now we're going to check the body parts. We shall check the testicular volume. We shall measure 
the test is it of the right centimeter. We shall check for varicoceles. Because said when people have varicoceles, also there a problem because they increase the temperature. So the following are lab investigations that can be done. Some are routine, others are not routine. So the routine investigations can be urinalysis, can also do random and fast blood sugar levels, can also talk about sputum analysis in the case of chronic chest infection, then ultrasound scan, especially in cryptochidism, where we find that the tests are not palpable and are not seen. Then there are specific investigations that we can do, specifically to rule out the cause of infertility, like spermatolysis, can also look at others, his other investigations like we shall look at other investigations. For example, the general blood investigations and we look at other general examination, we look at obesity, we look at several histories as I may not be able to talk about all of them now, but we look at several histories. We look at systemic examination, gynecological examination, and all these investigations will help us come to conclude that this person is likely to have a fertility. And the major thing that we are doing, these investigations target to get the signs and symptoms. Not forgetting speculum examination, because this one can reveal the presence of microorganism and can also take them for culture and sensitivity. So in summary, we have said we shall look up on investigations, which are many, abdominal ultrasound scan, hysterosalpingogram, endometrial biopsy, laparoscopy, we can do hormonal assays, and that one will mark the end of the investigation that we can try to do in this other couple, which has spent the whole year not conceiving or six months, especially those aged above 35 in female and 14 in male, and they have not conceived. And this one will give us an idea of infertility in this very couple. Thank you for listening. Let us meet when we are ending our episode about infertility. Thank you so much.